Hi everyone. Welcome to uh, Concept Tree's uh, information session on uh, the CBSE pattern change. I'm sure you would have heard a lot about this particular news. Over the last few years, if you look at it, there is a lot of uh, discussion that's been happening in terms of bringing back the, uh, the the annual pattern which was there before. So in this uh, session, what we'll do is uh, we'll try to uh, take a cursory look at uh, what are the changes that have been proposed and what will be the implications of these changes for CBSE students across the levels from 6th standard to 10th standard. So the beginning, if you look at uh, what used to happen in the current uh, CC pattern. So we have uh, FA1, FA2 followed by SA1 that will come in the term 1 and uh, FA3, FA4 uh, followed by SA2 that will come in term 2. So even if you look at the uh, 10th standard, the SA2 which comes to a mere 30%, that's what has been assessed by the uh, CBSE board if the schools opt for the board pattern. Vis-a-vis -vis if the schools are opting for the uh, regular school pattern, even that will come under the assessment uh, scheme of uh, things within the school. Now while there are advantages in terms of the CC pattern, where uh, the pattern will give a lot of focus on uh, activity based learning, assessment of the student uh, across a wide range of things rather than near uh, an academic uh, outlook. The implementation part of it has been a challenge for most of the schools and that's precisely the reason why the system could not uh, give the kind of benefits that have been envisaged from the CC pattern. So as per the proposed uh, scheme of evaluation, even for the 10th standard, the old pattern of uh, the school-based assessment and the board-based assessment that will cease to exist where uh, there is going to be a uniform system of evaluation across school, schools. So under this new scheme, 20% of the uh, overall uh, weightage for the assessment of student would be within the uh, the purview of the school which will uh, broadly cover uh, the periodic tests and uh, the note work and uh, subject enrichment activities that will include the lab work and you know, projects etc so within this 20 percent uh, periodic tests where uh, cbsc has uh, proposed that schools would conduct three exams in a cumulative pattern midterm pre midterm and post midterm with the syllabus coverage being cumulative in that sense the best two out of the three average of the best two would be taken for the 10% weightage that will come under the periodic tests note work will account for 5% and uh, the subject enrichment activities which will include the lab work and you know, activities if it's a maths and science and uh, when it comes to uh, social science it might be you know a map or project work when it comes to english it could be speaking and listening skills so this would account for the 20 percent of the assessment and the 80 percent would be the annual exam that the students would write and for the 10th standard the annual exam will be conducted by the cbsc board so what we are getting into is an assessment pattern where uh, retention abilities of the student in terms of the syllabus because in the erstwhile pattern cc pattern what we have is uh, an assessment of the students understanding and performance over a short range of topics and that's what you know the uh, the fa exams and you know the essay exam is all about so where we have clearly the division of subject into the term 1 and term 2 syllabi. Now, what is the advantage that this annual assessment will bring to the students? Is if you look at uh, most of the complete examinations that the students will write after their plus 2, the exams would be based on 11th and 12th syllabus and uh, they expect that the students will retain 
the entire uh, topics that they would uh, study during the two years period and students who are you know progressing from the 10th standard from a cc pattern they are accustomed to just focusing on a syllabus for a six months period and that's the reason why they were saying there is a wide gap when they move from the 10th to 11th because even in the 10th they would just know uh, look at uh, the term pattern and then they go to the 11th standard from a CBSE point of view itself it's going to be an annual exam so there is a gap that they would see uh, from the regular school curriculum uh, point of view itself and more so when we talk about focusing on the complete examinations so with this change what we would see is right from the 6th standard as there go there is going to be an emphasis on the retention of topics we would see that this pattern change would immensely help the CBS students in terms of targeting the computer examinations a lot of emphasis that is being given in terms of making the students write descriptive answers and that's probably an area where uh, if you look at uh, the current uh, set of students they are lacking so going forward as there is going to be more emphasis on the descriptive uh, answers we would be seeing a scenario where students would be made to clearly explain the thought process behind solving questions and that aspect if it is you know clearly addressed over a longer period of time that again you know would help them in terms of making sure that their concepts are very clear right from the the foundation level 6 standard itself also i mean over a uh, wide range of you know uh, levels if they continue to do that then we will see that this will even help them in terms of uh, uh, cracking these uh, the complete examinations is the proposed system you know having absolutely no uh, shortcomings i won't say no because if you look at you know the the core idea behind the cce pattern was there will be a lot of emphasis on the project based learning and the activity based learning and the main challenge also has been schools or the teachers not being able to implement that in the right sense so with the cc pattern going out we may feel that you know there is going to be now little or no emphasis on such kind of learning uh, opportunities for the students and that's precisely where uh, the foundation programs run across schools uh, trying to give them you know uh, olympiad or uh, iit and medical foundation they would try to bring in the good aspects of the cc pattern and collaborate this with the revised uh, scheme of things and uh, aim to provide the best of both worlds to the student community now the other aspect because we are talking about the uh, the cbse pattern change and you know how it could probably help the students in terms of developing themselves into uh, a potential rankers because cbsc in mean, the moment we talk about cbsc curriculum one of the things that we keep uh, emphasizing on that uh, is uh, since most of the competitive examinations are based on uh, cbsc curriculum we do expect that these students will have uh, a natural advantage but that will only come when you know their preparedness is uh, as per the expectation and probably the the new annual pattern that is going to come will surely make sure that uh, it will probably enhance the advantage that the cbs students will have when it comes to the competitive examinations new pattern would essentially mean that a quick solution for addressing the shortcomings of uh, student academic performance like whether it is tuitions or something that will probably not going to help them any way in the time to come so a little bit long term planning for the development of the students so looking at you know 6th 7th 8th as one complete block 9th and 10th as the the next step is something that you know a foundation program would aim to do and probably that will uh, help the students in ensuring that their development is systematic and sequential and progressive 
So these are some of the things that you know we would like to highlight uh, from concept A side in terms of the uh, new CBSE uh, scheme of evaluation. Hope this has been useful and uh, we'll see you again. Thank you.